GIST is a molecularly defined tumor. And so we know that GIST can be broken down into individual molecular subtypes based on the primary oncogenic um, alteration evident. For example, the majority have kid alterations that are generally sensitive to imatinib. Next, we see more, next, we see PDGFR alpha alterations. And then beyond that, we have more rare subtypes such as STH deficient GIST, um, BRAF mutant, NF1 associated and fusion driven. And then, so the underlying primary oncogenic alteration um, may um, predict potential uh, efficacy to, for example, imatinib therapy. And then in, in the setting of metastatic disease where patients have been exposed to tyrosine kinase inhibitors, we see the emergence of secondary resistant alterations in the kit mutant population. And we know from research that we see heterogeneity both in between individual um, metastatic sites, but also within um, a metastatic site. In an ideal world, um, we would um, sequence um, patients' tumor, GIST tumors uh, at baseline in the setting of recurrence and serially in the context of metastatic disease where they're um, undergoing um, uh, tyrosine kinase inhibition um, therapeutics. Um, I personally uh, utilize um, sequencing of GIST tumor, um, tumors in the context at baseline to understand the um, molecular, just molecular subtype that a patient has, and then in the setting of recurrence, um, and then and then at, at selective points, then in a serial fashion, I will also consider doing so, where I feel that it may have a treatment, um, it may influence treatment decision making. Um, the standard methodology used to uh, molecularly characterize just is remains uh, tumor tissue sequencing. Um, and this has evolved um, over several decades um, with advancements in sequencing technology. And personally at my institution, um, we utilize a next generation sequencing um, uh, platform. In terms of um, CTDNA, um, this is a growing, um, this is growing in popularity with respect to a method of identifying gene mutations by analyzing extracellular DNA uh, released by tumor cells that contain information on specific mutations. This is a um, technology that is FDA approved in um, as a companion diagnostic in other cancers and um, with its more widespread use in the oncology community, it's being increasingly used in the GIST setting and many of our GIST trials um, have been incorporating um, this uh, technology also, which is going, which has, you know, helped uh, to inform us regarding the utility of this in, in this disease setting.